Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. We're doing another ink spot review today and today it is of uh, the ink from the Noodlers uh, company and an exclusive to the Goulet Pen company. It is Noodlers Liberties Elysium. Now this comes in the usual Noodlers 3 uh, ounce or 90 mil bottle uh, and it's made of glass. It's got a lovely big wide opening on the top uh, and always comes with these interesting labels as most of the Noodlers inks do. Uh, and as I said, this is an exclusive to the Goulet Pen uh, Company, uh, helped developed by Brian Goulet himself. And it's this really lovely blue. Now this blue is developed with uh, Brian to emulate the color of the Goulet Pen Company. Uh, and also, it's close to the Noodlers Blue, which was uh, the ink that they sort of modelled it off. And, but this has been made to be slightly more bulletproof or waterproof or permanent, uh, whatever uh, term you want to use. Here is uh, the little test page done on Rodeo 80 gram paper. Noodlers Liberty Lees, and this was written with a Jinhao pen, a 992 in a fine. So as you can see, it's a really nicely behaved ink. We'll do now um, the swab and then come back to the second pen test and talk through some of the, the stats of the ink. So as you can see from that swab, uh, you get a lovely rich uh, royal blue sort of colour from this ink with plenty of vibrancy, uh, a little bit of shading, uh, but not a huge amount of sheen. There's a tiny bit of sort of perhaps gold or, or uh, at least reflective sort of quality to the darker sections of the ink, but not so much as I would actually call it sheen. Now for the second uh, writing sample, what I'm using is, uh, is what on the surface looks to be uh, another sort of budget pen, a Bauer 388, but uh, the nib on this pen is actually a, a Waterman vintage uh, flex nib, a nice sort of small nib, but uh, it's a really lovely writer and uh, really quite wet. So let's see that in action here as the second pen sample. Now I have no, no idea what I'm doing with Flex. I'm not a, a Flex writer, uh, but as you can see that, that nib does have quite a bit of Flex to it. And what it does is it brings out those lovely rich darker colors of the ink. Now just for the water um, resistance test, uh, instead of trying to work its way through that thick um, flexed text, I'll just use the, the Jinhao again and I'll just write, um, let's just write water test noodlers. So once that's dry, uh, we'll have a bit of a, a run through that. Let's just start talking about the properties of the ink first though. So if we look at these five points, the wetness of this ink is really excellent. Um, it flows beautifully, it's got a lovely lubricated feel uh, in the pen on the paper. Shading is good when it's there. It is because it is a saturated ink and it is quite highly saturated, you do struggle sometimes to get shading uh, out of this ink. Sheen is very low. Bleed and feather. Now, this ink does bleed and feather a little bit, particularly on cheaper papers. Feathering not so much, but bleeding, yes. This, in some pens, has actually bled through Rhodia uh, in a particularly wet uh, pen that I tried it in. On most paper, you will get a little bit of bleed. Uh, on Rodeo, Clairefontaine, Tomal River, that sort of paper, it's rarer. You do get a lot of ghosting because it is a very, as I said, highly saturated ink. Um, so there is a little bit of bleed. I will just have a quick look at, at this page. Um, and while there's no bleed here, um, there's a tiny little bit where I did the stars. Um, 
it's p performed pretty well even in the flex uh, nib there. Uh, so that's good, but this is, not, as I said, this isn't a particularly wet uh, pen that I did most of this test in, just to give the the difference between that and the, and the flex uh, pen there. Cleaning is fair. Now I say that because it, you can clean this out. A little bit of dish soap, maybe a little bit of bleach, something like that, yes. But if you leave this or any of those sort of highly saturated noodler zincs in a pen for too long, you will get some staining. Um, I would never use this in a demonstrator, for instance. Um, I've, in this Jinhao pen, I've used it in a, in a converter. Um, and, uh, and as you can sort of see from uh, the converter, it's a very saturated ink in the converter. And so you are likely to get a little bit of staining. Um, it's certainly not a pen ink I would use in a vintage pen or anything particularly uh, expensive, although I know people do. Uh, it just takes a little bit more cleaning. And I think the water resistance in a second will, will show that. So let's actually do that now while we think about it. So here is a, a wet cotton bud on the Noodler's ink. And as you can see, while it is staining the paper and taking some of the ink uh, away, it's leaving plenty on the page, more than enough uh, to be able to read the writing that was there. So there is a bulletproof quality to this ink, uh, which makes it really desirable. So that was Noodler's Liberty's um, Elysium. I've given it three and a half stars. The only reason I don't give it higher, I do love the colour. I actually don't mind the brand, uh, but between not having sort of a, a standout X factor like a sheen or something like that, it having the, the potential to bleed through a lot of paper uh, and also the fact that it's not the easiest cleaning ink uh, does mean that uh, it's not going to rank excessively highly on my, um, on my scale there. Still a really lovely ink and a beautiful blue. Um, it's quite a unique blue uh, due to those sort of nice lighter shades through to the beautiful dark uh, that you can get from it. Uh, and yeah, Noodles Liberties Elysium, exclusive to Goulet pens. So, I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please also subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos I produce. All these things mean that my videos get out there more uh, in the community and uh, I'd love to help as many people as I can with these videos uh, as it's something that I'm passionate about too. Please feel free to drop me a message if you've got any questions or information you'd like to pass on, or if you've got any products you'd particularly like me to look at. That can either be done here on YouTube, or at my blog on Instagram or Twitter, which are all linked below. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.